like that. Have an eave there. We'll take a little eave there like that, a little shadow underneath that roof. Now I'm going to switch to a liner. This is a uh, number 12 liner. And I'm going to paint in some of the top of the uh, lighthouse. It doesn't have to be completely filled. Just block it, block it in a little bit, just like that. Got a little point, pointed roof on there. Get that in there like that. There's always a little round thing. I've painted so many lighthouses, they all have sort of the same kind of configuration. Ultramarine and burnt sienna make a beautiful uh, gray. So I want to just add a little of that in there. It doesn't have to be anything special. Soften it a little bit. Uh, I want to add the windows. And I'm going to I'm going to use the burnt sienna again and the ultramarine. And just it doesn't have to be perfectly square. Just the suggestion of a window. Do a shadow on the roof that the lighthouse is casting. Also a shadow of the chimney on there. And I want to show a shadow on the back side of the lighthouse. Take some clear water, soften this edge just like you would a watercolor. Just like that. Pretty good. Got this little line here. We could just soften that a bit. That looks pretty good. Now there's a window on this side of the uh, building itself. It's still kind of damp, but if you use a heavy enough touch of paint, it does the job. It doesn't have to be any more complicated than that. Now I'm going to finally take a real small liner. And pick up what I have, whatever I have in the palette. I'm, I don't use blacks. I use whatever happens to be left over. And by using the burnt sienna, the purple, a little bit of the ultramarine, and maybe even a touch of the magenta, I can uh, have a real nice dark color. And I can add some details to the lighthouse, little railings, things. Nothing real special. Just like that. Add that eave in there, kind of washed out on us, but we can just add some thicker paint. Just like that. Add an eave here, a little shadow here, there's kind of a little thing up there. Now we can also, because we still got the, the foreground is damp, we can take a little dark whatever, maybe take some of this Indian yellow and mix it with a little blue on the palette and, and kind of shoot some weeds up between the rocks like that. Don't want to overdo it, just like that. Take some more blue. Over blue weeds against an orange, that's cool against uh, warm, just like that. Might even have some cracks that we might want to accentuate. In between the rocks with the dark, come down like this, like that. Just like that. There might be a little uh, fence back here heading to the house. This, this little calligraphy is what they call this. It just adds a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of detail. There might even be a window here or a doorway, something like that. Add a little more over on this end too, kind of balance things out a little bit. Just like that. Kind of goes off the cliff like that. Maybe couple more things like that. Maybe add just a little bit of siding to this building. Nothing real, nothing real strong or significant. Just the suggestion of it. This melting together looks great. There's no reason to try to fix that. Um, and that you can pretty much call it done. It's, uh, it, it's a wonderful painting. The colors are so brilliant. And that's how I do uh, bigger and bolder watercolors using Interactive's Professional Artist's Acrylics. 
further develop the painting using washes of color and heavier, more impasta paint. Use the heavier paint to indicate the areas of darker value. To assist blending, keep paper and paint wet with slow, medium, plus water. Add details using a smaller brush. Barry has taught workshops throughout the southeastern U.S., and he travels nationally. If you are interested in having Barry visit your college or organization, please call 678-363-9292 or contact Chroma, Inc. at 800-257-8278. To contact Barry regarding his paintings, please visit www.signandart.com. You can also contact Chroma Inc. at infousa at chromaonline.com or visit our website, which is www.chromaonline.com.